The royal family is under intense scrutiny as Prince Andrew agrees to settle in principle with Virginia Dufry, but a source claimed that many in the firm's household believe the Duke of York is innocent as he continues to deny the allegations made against him. Prince Andrew is facing fresh calls for his Duke of York title to be taken away after he agreed in principle for an out-of-court settlement in with Virginia Dufry. Rachel Maskell, the Labour MP for York Central, said she had met Commons officials to explore ways of forcing Andrew to give up his title. She said, trying to find the right piece of legislation is important but we clearly have got things coming back to the Commons in the next few weeks, so, there may be some manoeuvres which can be put in place. Daryl Smalley, a Liberal Democrat councillor and the City Council's executive member for Culture, Leisure and Communities, also said the sexual assault allegations were a stain on the city's reputation and that it would step up pressure on MPs and the royal household for Andrew to relinquish the Duke of York title. Ms. Dufry's allegations that Andrew sexually assaulted her on three occasions have always been denied by the royal, but have nevertheless sparked concerns that the royal family's image has been damaged. Reports last month claimed that Prince William and Prince Charles were influential in ensuring Andrew was stripped of his military titles. However, after Andrew was stripped of his titles last month, one source described as an insider told the Mirror that some in the royal household believe Andrew is innocent. They said, he had hoped that he might get some sort of stay of execution and be allowed to clear his name before his titles were removed. There are a number of people in the royal household who are utterly convinced that he is innocent. But the clamor for Andrew's scalp meant that a quick and brutal decision needed to be made. Meanwhile, a senior defense source also told the newspaper that the decision had left Andrew in tears. They said, the prince was tearful when told the news even though he had expected it. He feels that he has let so many people down, not least his mother, during her platinum jubilee year. One person who has publicly supported Andrew is his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. In December, she was promoting her Mills Boone novel Her Heart for a Compass when she said of Andrew, I completely stand by Andrew 100%. The happiest day of her life, she continued, was her wedding day back in 1986, when I married the best man in the world. In recent months, there has also been speculation that Andrew's romance with his ex-wife could be rekindled. Asked about this on Loose Women late last year, Miss Ferguson said, Oh, goodness me. You're all fairy tale, you've all got your ones out. Andrew and I remain steadfast, in the past we've been co-parenting and now we're co-grandparenting. Commenting on the relationship, royal expert Benny Juna told The Guardian, she has not just stood silently by his side. She actually speaks out in favor of him. Who knows what the relationship really is? It seems utterly bizarre. Criticism of Andrew and the royal family as a whole could intensify after The Telegraph reported that the Queen will help pay the settlement with Ms. Jufri. Andrew is expected to take no part in his mother's Platinum Jubilee celebrations this year. A source close to the Duke added, It has been made clear that the public have heard enough about him and enough from him. They need to hear no more.